thoughtfulness? Everybody tells me to be more thoughtful. Well, I'd like to be more thoughtful. If I only knew what it meant. Why should I worry about being thoughtful? What will it get me? In this world, it's every man for himself. How do you go about being thoughtful? What do you do? Every time I try, I only make things worse. Is there some particular method of being thoughtful that works every time? Yes, everywhere you go, people talk about thoughtfulness. Well, just what does thoughtfulness mean? How does it fit into your everyday life? To discover some know-how about thoughtfulness, let's follow Jane Proctor into her home. For the Proctors are one family who have learned the art of thoughtfulness. If we watch carefully, we'll see just what thoughtfulness is, why the Proctors think it is worth the effort, and how they do it. She's not here, Jane. Oh, hi, Eddie. Mom's downtown. Oh? She left a note if you want to read it. <laughs> she always leaves a note. Dear Jane and Eddie, I've gone downtown to pay the insurance premium. Please take... Say, something's funny. Mom doesn't usually take care of the family business. Please take the ground beef out of the freezing compartment so it will be ready for supper. Brown beef, I forgot. I'll get it. Hello? Oh, hello, Amy. He's right here. I'll take care of the meat. Thanks, Amy. Hi, Amy. All set for the party tomorrow night? Another girl now. Well, it'll be tough on Amy, too. I wish I could help. But tomorrow night. Tomorrow night? I've got to do something about a dress. You girls have one track mind. I haven't a thing to wear. I thought Mom was going to fix up the blue dress. The one you used to say was a dream. Used to say is right. Now it's a nightmare. Oh, well, it's a dress. You'll manage. Say, your things are all over the place. Why don't you pick up? Oh, I forgot to straighten my room this morning. That was thoughtless of me. Take your jacket along. Save a trip. Yeah, and the books, too. Let's see. Jacket, book, scarf, upstairs. First straighten the sofa pillow. That's the way. Better than wasting time flying from one thing to the next. I'll get your book. Eddie. You know, Mom will most likely be late. Let's get supper ready. What do you say? Thought you had to straighten your room. Oh, don't worry, I will. Here's your jacket, too. Listen, if you peel the potatoes and set the table, I'll do the rest. Good deal. I'll take your books, too. Thanks. Well, it's nice to see you working. Well, you better put an apron on, though. All right. Say, what are we going to have to eat? Let's see. Mashed potatoes, ground beef patty, salad. Put lots of onion in my ground beef, will you? Uh-huh. You like lots of onion. But Dad doesn't like any. No? How do you know that? Oh, I don't know. I just need to notice little things people like and dislike. It's kind of handy when you want to do something for someone you like. I can see that. Yeah. But I don't think I could learn to do it, though. Why, Eddie, you do. I'll bet when you meet a new girl, you notice everything she likes, so you can be nice to her. Well, you can do the same thing with your family. Marlene Davis. Huh? The new girl at school. She's in your English class, isn't she? Oh, yeah. She is. What about her? Well, they just moved into town the other day. She won't have a date for tomorrow night, either. You two should get together. 
Yeah. That's a swell idea. Oh, I can't ask that girl this late. Why not? It's no reflection on her that she hasn't a date. It'd be the thoughtful thing to do. I bet she'd be glad for the chance to get acquainted. Well, I guess it would be thoughtful to introduce her to the others. But, well, it just won't be easy to ask her. Well, I'll go out and set the table now. Information? I'd like the number of the Davis family, please. They just moved in. No, never mind. Sure glad you got it. She's out in the kitchen now. You can take it upstairs. Oh, Eddie! You got the best of this deal. Oh, yeah. Oh! Is the table all set? Almost. Give a fella a chance, will ya? Boy, Dad, I'm sure glad Mom got it. Just wait till Jane sees it. What's the matter, Eddie? You look worried. Amy can't go to the party tomorrow night. There's another girl I could ask, but... You think it'd be a bit late for asking anyone, eh? Oh, that isn't it, Dad. I mean... Well, Marlene's just new in town, and... I think she'd understand the late part of it all right, if I explained. Well, then, how would you feel if you were in her place? I guess I'd be glad to go. That's a pretty good test, son. Put yourself in the other person's place. Maybe you're right, Dad. Besides, she's kind of nice. I'd like to get acquainted. Well, now you tell her that. She won't feel like second choice at all. Marlene? Well, Marlene's folks will want to meet you. Why don't you run down there after supper and meet her folks and explain the whole thing? Good idea, Dad. I'll do it. Eddie! Look at me if the folks are coming yet. They're here now, Seth. Here? Oh! Come help me then! Mash the potatoes! Do something! Well, here's the last of them. Well, I guess Mother and I can do the dishes. Yes, it's certainly our turn after that nice dinner you fixed. Goodness, what a wonderful surprise that was. The most fun was watching your faces when you saw dinner on the table. Oh, yes, that made everything worthwhile. In fact, that's what makes thoughtfulness worthwhile. Well, I'll go out and start on my homework now. Where'd you put it, Mom? On her bed. She'll find it in a minute. It's the one she wanted, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Mom! Dad! Eddie! She's found it. Come on. Oh, Mom! Dad! It's beautiful! <laughs> Eddie, look! Oh, so that's why you went downtown this afternoon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Insurance premium poop. Look at my little sister. Is Jimmy a lucky fella? Mm-hmm. But how did you know? I mean, it's the very one I wanted. Eddie seemed to know what you wanted. He insisted we get that particular one. Eddie, you knew all the time. Well, I saw you ogling at the store window. I couldn't help see you were crazy over it. And you said you didn't know how to be thoughtful. <laughs> Here, wipe your face. You think you're still chopping on you. <laughs> Eddie? What if Jimmy and I double dated with you and Marlene? Yeah. Be swell that way. Well, why don't you go over there and ask her now? Yes, right now. Okay, see you later, folks. But now I'm really going upstairs to do my homework. And we've got dishes to do. Mm-hmm. You know, I think we've got a pretty nice family. A fine, thoughtful family. Mm -hmm.